What's up, everybody? Welcome to a new English bit. I'm Katia. Today's lesson is going to be different from my previous videos on phrasal verbs. In today's English bit, we're going to focus on one verb, namely to fall, and we're going to learn 11 phrasal verbs that contain this verb. I recommend writing down these phrasal verbs in your vocabulary notebook. You can have one section for phrasal verbs, like I do. Are you ready? If so, grab your notebook and a pen and let's kick off! Before we start, just a little side note. Remember that the verb to fall is irregular and it's to fall, fell, fallen. And now let's get down to business. The first phrasal verb we're going to learn today is to fall apart. It can have different meanings. The first one is to be in very bad condition and to break into pieces. For example, your car is falling apart. It's time you bought a new one. And the second meaning is to have a lot of serious emotional problems and become unable to deal with them. An example sentence, a lot of people feel as if their life is falling apart after a breakup or a divorce. Now let's move on to our second phrasal verb, which is to fall back on someone or something. It means to have someone to rely on or something to use when you are in difficulty. And now let's look at two examples. The first one, it's good to have some savings you can fall back on in the event of an expected hardship. And one more example, I'm so lucky to have my parents to fall back on if needed. Let's continue our third phrasal verb is to fall behind someone or something. It means to fail to keep level with someone or something, to do something fast enough or on time. And now two examples. The first one, imagine you're running with a friend and he starts running too fast. You can say, please slow down, I'm falling behind you. And one more example, I'm falling behind with work. I wish there were more hours in a day. True story. And we use the preposition on to fall behind on something when we don't pay at the right time. For example, she's fallen behind on her loan payments. Number four, to fall down. It means to fall to the ground. And now let's look at two examples. The first one, Kevin fell down and broke his hip. And for the second example, I've got the beautiful Japanese proverb, fall down seven times, stand up eight. Let's continue number five, to fall for someone. It means to be strongly attracted to someone. The first example, he's a good catch and I'm falling for him. The idiom to be a good catch means someone who is a good person to have a relationship with. And one more example, it was love at first sight. They fell for each other in the blink of an eye. If you want to know what in the blink of an eye means, check out my lesson on 10 C1 and C2 phrases. You can find the link in the description box. And before we continue and learn six more phrasal verbs, just a super quick reminder, please make sure you're subscribed to English Bits and your bell icon is on. There is a weekly lesson waiting for you. Thank you. And now let's continue with our lesson, our phrasal verb number six, to fall for something. It means 
to believe something that is not true. And now let's look at two examples. The first one, she fell for the trick, hook, line and sinker. The idiom hook, line and sinker means to believe something completely. And one more example, he told me he was a royal and I fell for it. So naive. Number seven, to fall off. It can have different meanings. The first one is to decrease in quantity or quality. The first one, flight sales have fallen off due to the economic crisis. And the second meaning is to become detached and drop to the ground, especially when something separates from the surface. An example sentence, he fell off the horse and injured his knee. Now let's move on to our phrasal verb number eight, to fall out. It also has two meanings. The first one is to become loose and drop. And now two examples. The first one, your hair might be falling out because of stress. And one more example, his tooth fell out and the tooth fairy paid him a visit. And the second meaning is to fall from a place where it was contained. An example sentence, your credit card has fallen out of your wallet. Number nine, to fall out with someone. It means to have an argument with someone and to stop being friendly with them. And now a few examples. The first one, she fell out with her ex-boyfriend and I don't think they'll get back together. And the second example, Kate fell out with Tully and they don't talk anymore. This example is based on the series I've watched recently and loved. It's called Firefly Lane and I can't wait to see the second season and find out what happened and why Kate fell out with Tully. If you want to watch it, it's available on Netflix. Tomorrow to go, number 10, to fall over someone or something. It can mean to trip over someone or something and almost fall or actually fall to the ground. And now a few examples. The first one, your room is a mess. She's claimed after falling over a pile of clothes. And one more example, he fell over a rock and sprained his ankle. And last but not least, to fall through. It means to fail to happen. And now two examples. The first one, my plan to travel to Dublin fell through because of COVID. And the last example, the deal fell through and we were back to square one. If you want to know what to be back to square one means, check out my lesson on 10 idioms about new beginnings. You can find the link to this lesson in the description box. So guys, that's it for today. I really hope you enjoyed this lesson. If you found it useful, please let me know in the comments below so that I can make more videos focused on other verbs. And of course, if you learned something new, please don't forget to like this lesson to subscribe to English Bits and catch me on Instagram. With that being said, thanks for watching and see you next week. Ciao for now!